Hello, uh, this is John back with you again. Um, as promised, I'm going to do a video on painting my backdrop. Um, I use uh, this backdrop mostly because my track is really close and uh, I'm trying to create a sense of depth with uh, painting my backdrop. Um, as a result of that being real close as well, I'm not going to have enough room for trees. Uh, but to get started on this, we need to mix up a little paint. Um, I buy the, uh, the brand at Walmart. It's uh, here in Ontario at $6 a tube. And it's not the greatest paint, but for, for when you're doing something that's not super detailed, uh, then you can get away with it. Anyways, we, the first step is we put on a good bit of white. And itty bitty little dab of black. Black is one of those colors that um, goes a long way, so you don't want a whole lot of that in there. And then some blue, and put about twice as much as the black. We're looking for a nice blue gray color out of this. Um, there, I hope you can see, there's how much uh, we put on. So I'm gonna mix that up now. And hopefully with this mount right here, I'm going to end up with the color that I want. Okay, there's the color that I ended up with. That should be pretty decent. So, what I used for putting this on is an Ott round brush. Um, I bought this one at Michael's. Um, there's a few other stores that carry them as well. One is uh, Hobby Lobby in the U.S. I really like Hobby Lobby and and I uh, get there every chance I get. But basically the motion here is just you dab it. And you want to just go up and down and just kind of dab her on there. And this is for your really far background trees and if it's a little bit thin whatever that's okay too um, as a matter of fact the the hazier you want it to look the thinner you put it on now I, I don't know if you can see it or not but I did put some marks on here um, eight inches high that's how high I wanted my backdrop but of course I'm not going to stick right on that eight inch line I'm going to um, go up and down just a little bit here in eastern Ontario uh, the area that I'm modeling uh, we're really flat here but it's not totally flat I mean it's not like a pancake we do have a little variation but overall it's pretty flat and the motion for doing this is just dab 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 um, guy by the name of Chris Lyon he uh, also does backdrops and he does more of an, uh, of an impressionistic type um, if you want to see how he does it, um, just log into uh, CLVN, I think is his YouTube handle, and just look him up and uh, you'll get to see how he does it. Now, um, it's, a, it's a fairly light dab. You don't want to, if you push too hard, you're going to end up with blobs and and if you really go like that, then you end up with kind of really funky looking stuff. See, so it's just a kind of a light dabbing motion. You dab, 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 dab. And every time I think of that, I think of Happy Gilmore in uh, Adam Sandler playing Happy Gilmore. And, and uh, he's trying to learn how to putt. And his, and his trainer there is saying, just tap it in. And Adam Sandler goes, Tap, 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 tap. Just tap it in. So, anyhow, uh, that's that's that line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some yellow to that for the next uh, line of trees. And we're just going to use the leftover paint we have. And then I'm going to add some yellow to it. And hopefully that will give me the green shade I want right there. Just mix her in. I just use a 
this little thing here it comes I bought it at Walmart it comes in a five pack they're really cheap that's a pretty decent looking green color right there so anyhow just continue with your dab dab dabbing and you want to leave a little bit of the gray kind of coming through you want to do light dabs and you don't have to leave a whole lot of the gray showing kind of you want to put the green on light enough that it still shows through the green somewhat and if the odd time you do happen to get right up into there there's no biggie at all it's it's kind of gives you some variation in the in the background just keep on dabbing and dabbing it's a pretty simple technique this part of it right here Dab and we dab and we dab and we dab. Now you don't want to, you don't want to overdo it either. If you if you overdo it, then eventually you end up with just kind of mush. So you, you don't really want to do that. Another important item to keep around is two glasses of water. This one here, I have a little bit of dish soap in it. And I fill it just a little less than my other one. But as soon as you're done with the brush, you rinse it with a little dish soap in that one. And then use your cleaner one. And you rinse it out. This will keep your brushes good for a long time. Just change out your water on a fairly regular basis to give you good clean water and you're, and you're good to go. Now, Next step, we're going to add a little more black to this to give us some little darkness near the bottom. It's not a whole bunch, just, just a little bit. A lot of, of black goes a long ways. A little bit of black goes a long ways. There, now we have some nice black. And we're also going to dab it on a little bit. And the depth of your lines right here, like here and here and here, the closer you keep those together, when you finish your foreground scenery, the, the, the farther back it will look. The farther apart you make these, the closer it's going to look. So you have to kind of determine... How much depth do I want in my in my background? And for me, I want quite a bit of depth, so I'm kind of leaving these fairly close together. I want it to look really pushed back. And there again, you go up and down a little bit, give it a little height variation. There we go. You see how I've kind of got some of the other colors on the backside coming through on that as well. That's that's kind of kind of important. You want it to all kind of blend together, fade together, but have distinct areas as well. It's just just to add a little variety, but uniformity as well. It's it's kind of an odd concept. So now that we've finished that. We are going to take a, a little flat brush. This is just a El Cheapo, just a like a dollar fifty type brush, and we're going to put a little flat line right here. Now this is where, if you want a hill here, or if you want a bit of a valley, this is where you put it in by going just by going up and down, or you want it totally flat, you do it like that. You want to come up a little bit, uh, make a bit of a hill. Like so. There we go. And that is that part of that. And the next step 
you do that that'll help out is just take a little bit of white put it on your palette here you can buy uh you can buy yourself a good palette if you want if you want to spend the money or the ones i like to use are the ones that uh that are uh, disposable wax paper palettes they're really nice they're they're good now that you've got your little dab of white paint this little tub i keep with water in it and this is a little flat brush just a really thin little flat brush dab it in the water and i swish it around the white paint a little bit i, I thin it down that that'll help you uh, run a nice smooth line so right at the horizon line we are going to run just a nice little line right there nothing we don't want it overpowering but we do want it there it, it just helps separate the, the lay of the land from the distant trees There's a little bit of a dab there of white that I don't like. Yes, use my finger to just blend it in a little bit. There we go. I just want to get that little horizon in there. Seem to be a little bit shaky today. I'm making some globs, but no, oh well, that is what it is. Just wipe that one out a little bit. Finger comes in handy sometimes. There we go. And then I got a little wet there, so blend that in. There we go. There, there's your little horizon line. And uh, we're uh, coming up on 12 minutes here, and and I found out that uh, with YouTube that. I'm not, I haven't figured that one out yet. If you're more than 20 minutes, you end up with a, uh, having to do something to be able to post your video. So anyhow, um, I will leave you with this one right here. This is, this is your, your background and I'll just go ahead and, uh, come back and make up another one. Um, so hope this helps you with this part of it and, uh, have yourselves a good day and, and tune in again to see part two of this. Thank you. Bye.